Happy New Year! Welcome to 2015. And if you've been to my website www.thepropertyteacher.co.uk you'll see that I've put a couple of house price predictions up on there. I've got a, a blog post which has got an interesting article by Savills showing what they think is going to happen to the property market in 2015 and a link to the BBC website which also has an article about property price predictions for 2015. Now, this is the thing which I think is really interesting. If you look at the BBC one particularly, you'll see that all of the commentators are predicting a positive increase in house prices over the next 12 months, albeit not a very big one, around about sort of 3 to 4% on average. But I have my doubts as to whether that's actually going to happen, and I'm not alone in that. The CEBR are also predicting that house prices are probably going to go down in 2015 and they're estimating that they could go down by about 3.3% in London and maybe by 0.3% across the rest of the country. But so far they're the only commentator I've seen who's taken a gloomy view. So why am I thinking that property prices could go down? Well if you think about what's been happening over the last few months in the economy as a whole and in the property market we can see that the stats in the economy aren't as great as people were thinking they were. Uh, a few of the statistics have been going backwards or just treading water. And in the property market, we've seen that the increase in prices over the last few months of 2014 was slowing down. It was a, a marked slowdown in the way that property prices were increasing. And not surprisingly, that's probably correlated to the fact that we've seen that the number of mortgage advances has been going down steadily, in fact quite significantly since MMR, the mortgage market review, was introduced earlier in 2014. Now, I'm not a physicist, but Newton's third law I think goes something like this, that a body in motion remains in motion and a body that's static remains static unless an external force is applied to it. And the property market is very similar. If the property market is beginning to slow down, if the number of mortgage advances is beginning to slow down, unless an external force comes along to act upon it, then presumably it's just going to keep getting slower and slower. And if you think about it, that makes sense. All markets run on sentiment, and the property market is no exception. So whether it's logical or not, if people think the property prices are going to keep slowing down or even fall, or if they think it's going to be hard to get a mortgage, then that mindset is going to express itself in the way that the market actually performs. And when you add to that the other things that we can look forward to this year, I mean, we've still got problems in the Eurozone, and a big question mark over Eurozone deflation, a big question mark over Greece. There's an election over here in the UK, and the chances are, according to the opinion polls, there's going to be no clear winner. So the commentators are now predicting that possibly there could even be two elections this year, just to try and find a winner. All of this is going to add uncertainty, or add to the uncertainty. And I think there's a very good chance that property prices could either get, be stagnant or even fall. Now, as somebody who already has a significant portfolio, that in some ways that's not a very exciting prediction. But, a bit looking on the bright side, in every problem there's also an opportunity. So what would it mean for us? Well. It's kind of a bit like going back to, I would guess, 2012, maybe, depending upon how far property prices do move backwards. And it'll certainly balance things up. It'll make it more of a buyer's market than a seller's market. So if you were thinking that you'd miss the boat in doing things like buying from distressed vendors and using techniques like using uh, options or delayed completions, then the opportunity will probably come back again. It'll be easier to negotiate a good deal, be easier to get the discounts and to buy below market value. It might be slightly harder to get finance, but if we're going backwards, back to 2012, then the sort of the antidote to that is that people who have money uh, will be more willing probably to sort of do JV ventures and to, to lend uh, in, in place of the banks. So it's kind of a sense of deja vu that possibly for next year, or this year even, that uh, we could be able to sort of flip back to where we were in 2012 and sort of rerun the whole thing. Is this going to last? Well, most experts, including the CBR, actually predict that from the end of this year, 2016 onwards, that the market will pick up again. 
and that prices will start increasing again, albeit not very dramatically, around about 3 or 4% per annum, they're predicting. Now, the one thing which we know about all predictions is they are just predictions, and if we're going to be a little bit unkind, we could say that they're just guesses, and if anybody actually gets anything right, you usually find that it's just a lucky guess. But I think it's quite an interesting state of affairs as we go into the new year. Obviously, so many things which are so uncertain, and that's bound to feed into the property market. So, bottom line is, this could be a great buying year.